My name is Apolota Jen Mlai. I'm a farmer from Uganda. I'm going to show you how to make a fuel saving stove and what you need to use. You need to have a small pipe. You need to have a bigger pipe. You need a bucket of water and a flat wood. You need sand. You need a spoon. You need a spade for scooping the sun. You need the rake for sorting other harmful things in the sun. And you need oil to rub around the bigger, uh, the, the bigger pipe. And you need your hands to use them when you are making a fuel saving stove. When you're mixing, you should make sure that the soil is soft. Remove things like stones or glasses, because they can hurt you when you are mixing it. That's also dangerous to our land. So this is the water that we are going to use to mix the soil with, so that it becomes soft. Mama Mama I we are going to make a fuel saving stuff and normally what we use we use our hands for measuring. From this end to this end is 15 centimeters. And when you measure like this, that's the first hand, the second hand, and that's the third hand. That's already 45 centimeters, that's the width. And now when you measure the length, from there, one, two, three, four, five, up to where the chimney is going to stop, it's going to be 75 centimeters. So we fight from where our first hand stopped, we are going to measure again a hand to put the first, saucepan. So our first opening is going to be somewhere here. After that one again we put a hand so that we shall be able to put the second saucepan and the second saucepan is going to be there again. And after that we are going to put another opening hand and that marks the beginning of the chimney. And this is where our chimney is going to be. Mama after all this, we have already seen that we have put the, the foundation or measured where our fuel saving stuff is going to be. So we are going to put this to give us the right opening. In the middle, we put it as we measured one. The third hand is where we are going to place the thing, and that is, I mean, the second hand is where we are going to place it, and the third hand is going to be there. So this one, we make sure that we put it in the middle of our measurements. And then we sprinkle here so that by the time we are getting it, it is easy, it is soft, it will simplify the work of pulling it out. We going to pick the mat we are going to use for making our fuel saving stuff. And then we begin just putting it like that. that it is real level flat is for you to put a hole of the saucepan this time we have to use a flat piece of wood and before we use it we we'll make it wet this is what we are going to use for cutting the soil that clay here to make the shape 
uh, as a rectangle and you just cut like this. You are going to get sand, sprinkle here, so that when we are measuring with our saucepan, it will not stuck in. Again, make the shape, not the one we want. Okay, now when we are again make putting the saucepan, we measure one hand out. And the next, next saucepan is going to be from somewhere. Okay, then we put our saucepan. Then again, at that, we again put one hand open and we put the second saucepan. And then we have to make sure that from the saucepan sauce, sauce to our chimney is again one hand. And I think you can see these are our real measurements. We measure exactly where the saucepan is so that you don't go out of the measurements. Okay, still we have a flat wood, we have to put water so that it will ease the cutting of the soil in clay. Just have to cut slowly, slowly. Now we have to use this to find the base of the suspect. Mama funde kito bero, abana tuena kwameva, ni dada yena wameva. Mama funde kito bero, mama funde kito bero. It will make a very good place. It will be in the right position. And that was why we put oil first to make it soft so that when you are turning it now, it is easy and you can even remove it slowly, slowly. Meanwhile, turning it. When you are removing, you make sure that it is down. In Africa, normally when we finish the, like this, we remove this pipe and then we are removing it carefully. Mama 
Normally, we get the saucepans and leave them on the stove to keep the shape as it is dry. And the stove in Africa, it takes one month and should be out of the direct sunshine and rain. And I believe in the UK here, it will take roughly two months to dry it before you make the fire. Our fuel stove is finished. Here is the door. And this is the place we put firewood and we make light here, just here. We don't have to get a long stick and we push it up to the other end, you know. You only make light fire here and there is, in the middle here, there is a wall between the second saucepan and the first saucepan. The work of this wall is that when you light the fire here, it will knock, it will rise up and exactly go to the second hall and hit the second saucepan. Inside there already there is a chimney and the smoke will go straight up this chimney. And in Uganda always, in Africa, we burn, we carve that chimney to go out of the kitchen so that the smoke will just be going out exactly. So we have to maintain our saucepans here put them here, all of them, so that when this, the, the stuff dries up, it will remain, it will uh, keep the, the size of the saucepan and it will be easy when you are cooking. It will not be narrow, neither will it be large, but it will be the same size and it will keep the heat within the fuel stove so that it cooks just here and the smoke will go out. In Uganda, I use this type of uh, uh, fuel saving stuff like this one, and it uses less wood. I'm so, so grateful with it, uh, having it in my kitchen, because even if I get a visa with a simmer, there's no problem with her. She can stay with me because the smoke goes out. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm.